Hi everyone, welcome back to Mark the Kathy's Place, to my humble abode. I am your humble hostess with the most is Mary. And so, today, uh, oh, welcome back to my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my subscribers and you new viewers. Welcome, I hope y'all like what y'all see. If y'all do, give me one or two thumbs up. Please share so it could go across the YouTube community. And if you haven't done so, if you like the video, press the notification button that you see up there. And you'll be notified each time that I upload another Cassie Tail video. And subscribe. And so, uh, for y'all who don't know, I like to get this out the way. I'm going to suffer of the condition fibromyalgia, so I don't post videos regularly. I do my own editing, too, so I don't have the stamina and energy. And so, I uh, sometimes when I speak in my videos, I might become distracted. I uh, seem distracted is because I become discombobulated because of brain fog. I suffer from daily chronic fatigue syndrome. And so this is for not sympathy purposes. This for uh, just a self-informational purposes. So y'all can know what's going on with me if I pause and stay off into space. I don't have dementia or anything, Parkinson's disease or anything like that. So I appreciate your patience and understanding. And so, <clears throat> anyway, I come to you. I'm, oh, I'm also a reseller on the Poshmark app at Lady Vintage Shop and Purse Attic Shop. And so the links to my Poshmark closets will be in the description below. Okay? And uh, my, I'll post my most recent third haul somewhere in the cards above, y'all see it. At some point, beginning, middle, or end, it'll be up there somewhere where you could click on it and see it. But anyway, today, y'all, I bring y'all, uh, I'm a thriftaholic holic as well as a Timu holic and a Shein holic And so today, thrifting, and I wanted to get back to my thrifting because I have, oh, y'all just don't know. I'm a hoarder, yeah, by the way, for y'all who don't know, a professed hoarder, but organizing <laughs> and so um i wanted to get back to my thrifting because timu this this company called timu that uh been out since last year oh it's a rave across the youtube community and they say shop like a billionaire there and they mean just that because everything affordable pennies sometimes with your coupons and credits they give you credit They'll even give you um, price adjustment credits back, meaning if you bought something at the time of your purchase and while still out, you know, uh, in the shipping process or being processed or you already got it, you could look and see if it's a price adjustment. They'll say that. Uh, that means that the price went down in here. You could get the, uh, the equivalent to how much it went down. You could get it back. And however you pay for it with your card or bank account, however you pay for it, price adjustment. So, but anyway, they've been getting me, you know, getting my money. And I'm like, because uh, they have everything is affordable. They have homeware goods, household goods. They have uh, outdoor goods. They have uh, electronic goods. They have car equipment. Everything. They got homeware. Everything you could think of. Timu has it. And um, that's why I said we have become, because I watch other people's YouTube videos, and they complain too about how they're spending a lot. Although we thrilled at doing it, but I, I think not, not, although I'm a hoarder. I'd rather hoard my the items that I could find for cheaper prices and more for my money, in my opinion. But anyways, I can resell, because that's the purpose of that. The team more, I'm just mainly getting there for me. And I'm getting carried away with that. I, I'm, I'm getting to the point that I'm buying stuff I do not need. And I'll show y'all uh, some of my recent Timu hauls. I'll post the uh, playlist in the cards above if y'all want to see the Timu hauls. But anyway, so I got a, uh, 
Ooh, this might be a lengthy one, y'all, and I'm already four minutes into this. Okay, this might be a lengthy thread fall, uh, so y'all might have to get y'all something to drink. Today, I have my trusty Hershey's Milkshake Creamy Chocolate Flavor Drink. And this came from the Family Dollar. I mean, excuse me, that Family Dollar, the Dollar Tree. Which nowadays, y'all, you know, they went up, their stuff went up. I was in there yesterday. Their stuff went up to, uh, some of their stuff, $5. Three, and, three four, and $5. Mainly right now, they said it's in, uh, in my area. I don't know about nobody else's area. In the Chicago land area where I shop at. Um, but uh, Dollar Tree, they said right now, uh, the, the three to the four dollars is only uh increasing prices is for the uh some of the frozen foods, but it's gonna uh venture off into the other items. So some dollars still one twenty five, but anyway, back to the drink. I'm gonna go over here or here and take me a drink over here. <laughs> one moment, please. <laughs> Mm, it's some good stuff. It's nice, rich, and thick. And so I like that because it helps when I own. Because it's early in the morning, y'all. And so when I haven't eaten breakfast, I'll resort to the milkshake or my latte coffee. But anyway, it's a just gigantic bag. So I have clothes in one pair of booties and some purses. Handbags. But look at this. And look at the pretty bag. My daughter had uh, blessed me. This is the uh, Saver Sister Company. Unique Thrift Store. So this stuff today is from Unique Thrift Store. Okay, so uh, and the items I'm going to show you I bought at half price. Okay, so and my daughter blessed me because my birthday was this past Monday, October 16th. And uh, she bought my purchases for me. Wasn't that nice of my daughter? I should post a video of that. I might do that. We'll see if it's in here or not. Okay. We'll see. Getting back to uh, this. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, let's get it on because we already seven minutes into this and it might be, be lengthy. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show y'all clothing first. I'm going to show y'all this hat. Look at this hat. My daughter was like, where are you going with this hat? Look at this hat. <laughs> Ooh, so you know how we remember what we have in our closet. And so I have a, uh, I have a, uh, a jacket that I thrifted a long time ago. Look at this, the zebra print jacket. Uh, a hat. And look, it got all this on here. I don't know if I'm going to keep this on here or not. But I was like, I like this. And so this is 100% polyester it's on here. 100% polyester all new materials. Polyester fiber, they call it. And it's novelty Cumberland. But anyway, so it is it's, it's, it feels like um how they trying to make it like hair. That's how I feel a little bit like hair. But look at this. Isn't this a cool hat, y'all? Yeah? Okay, I'm wearing my hat. I like this hat. And it's going to go good when I put it on my head, right? And and, and dress when I have the appropriate clothing on. Look at this pretty hat. <laughs> look at this hat, y'all. Yeah. Ooh, what cool. And then I like my hats bent, so I must put some shape to it. <laughs> and so, here, like a while ago, this ain't come from this thrift. This was years ago. I had this. This jacket. And look, I'm going to take it off so you can see it. But anyway, this is the jacket I have thrifted. Isn't this cool? This jacket. Pretty jacket. It has some sleeves on it. I don't want to spend too much time on this jacket. This is a no-taste jacket. This is a vintage. 
notation. But look at this. So I remember I had it. The only thing about this, it got a little highlights of green, which I like. It still blends in well. But anyway, moving right on. No, I can't spend a lot of time on it. This thing, oh, I got to put the hat there and put this back up there. Put my hat back on my head and move it. I don't want this. Put it back the way I had it. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Okay, moving right along. Okay. So, I'm going to wait for that last. Okay, let's get to the closing. Then I have my hanger somewhere. What do I do with the hanger, y'all? The hanger. Oh, what's the hanger? That's the main guy. Okay, y'all excuse me, I'm knocking stuff down. I'm getting too hype up around here. It's like, calm down, I'll be telling the kids and myself. I'm getting too hype. Okay, well, I'm going to put you, put you up here for one moment. Okay. I'll knock this down. I don't want to see this yet. Y'all might have saw it when it fell, but anyway. Okay, so here's a closing item, y'all. This is a vintage list Clyborn. It's really pretty. It's a um, made in USA fall fur. Fall, it got fall fur trimming. And I'm trying to see where's the other info. So this is professional cleaning, dry cleaning only. Only this 100% wool, and uh, the lining is 100% as tape. Look at this, y'all! Isn't that pretty? Look at that. So it's fall fur, right there. Check it out, girl. <laughs> so it just needs some cleaning. You see, that's just something. Oh no, that's a tear. Oh, I didn't see that before. That's the actual tear. Okay. That's all right, because it's mine anyway. So, they must have had a broke on there and it torn. I didn't see that. How I miss that? That's torn. But anyway, isn't this beautiful? So, I'm going to wear this. And I'm going to just put a brooch there. And look. Look at that, y'all. See what I'm saying? And here's the back. And here's the back. Mm. Look at that detail on the sleeve. And the collar. Ooh. Real pretty. And pockets. The deep front pocket. And this vintage. So it buttons. All the buttons in. Look at this pretty. Vintage Liz Clyborn. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. I'm in a tight space, y'all. I'm still trying to get to where I could show stuff properly. But look at this. Isn't this nice? Now, I can't close it, but I don't care because I don't close my coats anyway. I wear them open. And look at the pocket. Really nice, isn't that pretty? <laughs> but anyway, I'm spending too much time on this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Liz Clyborn, it got weight on it. And it got, uh, it has the sewn in uh, shoulder pads, y'all. Nice. I like shoulder pads because it makes everything elegant it advances you know brings you to another level in your stuff you know what i really mean okay the next thing is what i'm putting this there i'll put this right here for right now mm -hmm. next thing is okay so this is a two-piece suit skirt suit i think that's skirt this astro as Hyphen H R O uh, vintage US size 20 percent polyester. And look, new with tags. Still got the tags and everything on. 
to the tank. And it got extra button. Okay. Yeah. I see you got the button. Oh, extra button. Two extra buttons in there. Look at this. This pretty vintage suit. So the only thing wrong with this suit is it has two buttons on it and so look at it it's real pretty and so it has uh these are fall pockets but look how pretty this is and so the only damage is this 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 was a button so this was wrapped something was in the middle of this and then this was wrapped around it and so it came off so I'm gonna see can I re put some in there and wrap that back around and sew it. And if not, I'm gonna just use one of the uh extra buttons. Look at the sleeve. Isn't that pretty? And it got some pulling on the sleeve, so I just clip that off. No big big. So this I could fit too. And at some point the things, even if I could fit, I'ma probably resell. If I wear it one or two times. But look at the detail. So this is like gold. This is like uh, gold. The color is gold. You ain't seeing gold because of the lighting. And this is that. Beautiful, isn't it, y'all? And I like the detail on the pockets. Look at that. How that's made in the back. In the uh, cuffs of it. Hmm. Vintage Ash Boy. So that was the top. Really nice and pretty. And here is a skirt. So the skirt nice. And it has the last thing and a button and a zipper. But if only y'all could see this. It was this is, this is a midi, not a mini, it's a midi. Really pretty, y'all. If only y'all could see it, if I could say this just proper. Really nice. Anyway, there it is, y'all. Really pretty. That's a pretty suit. That's a suit, suit. Okay, here's. This is a vintage basic edition size 2X. And it's a gray, it's a gray pullover sweater, look, with the uh, pearls. I see the design on it. You got the ball pearls, all the pearls intact to you. So it's just a pullover, nice. Let's see what's the, uh, Feel like cotton, but I don't know if it's cotton. Let's see, I'm gonna put it on a hanger too so y'all can better see it. But I'm looking for material. 100% acrylic. Okay, let's put it on here so y'all can better see it. Really nice pullover. So I'm keeping this too. But remember, some of this stuff is going to be in my Poshmark closet at Lady Vintage Shop and Purse Attic Shop. The links will be in the description below, y'all. Below this video. Mm -hmm. And so the back is just plain. But it's a nice length, too. It's going to be a probably past my behind when I put it on. Well, yeah. I like my shirts and stuff like that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Is that beautiful? Who the things y'all can find at the thrift store, y'all? Hmm. For affordable prices. I said I'm not going to resort to saying the price as much. I'm going to just show you all the items. <laughs> and 
and that's I'm like really excited about the price then I'll tell you okay this right here is a Chico's a vintage Chico size 3 which is a, uh, equivalent to a 3XL they say but anyway this is uh, cotton and spandex material check it out y'all look at this so it's navy blue polka dot look at that and here's the sleeve Ooh, isn't that pretty so it's buttons all the pretty buttons they shine too y'all this is a nice looking dress so it got two Ooh, deep breast pockets and two bottom pockets. And I got a pocket. Oh, oh the, it looked like it's a pocket there, but it's not. It's on the side. The pockets are on the side. Because I'm like, I don't have pockets. But they're on the side. Nice and deep, too, y'all. So they got the two breast pockets up here. Isn't that pretty? Look at this. Really pretty. The things you can find at the thrift store, yeah. So this is a uh, full length sleeve. Wow, nice. Really nice. So then I don't have too many clothing items. Trying to shorten my videos too, but when I talk a lot, you know, time go past. This is the last clothing item. And it's a nice vintage 1940s man uh, coat jacket to that was to a suit. This thing is denim and heavy duty denim. This is the I L Conto Coanto or something like this. It's a hundred percent cotton with polyester lining and piping. You know, I can't even, I uh, had Google Lens, this name, and the name didn't come up, but the style did, you know. Look at this. But I saw a picture of it come up. Check it, I can't really do justice on this. This is like that, uh, that dark blue. It's not black. It's like that dark navy blue. But check it out. Check out the detail, y'all. But y'all seeing how it really looks right there. And check out the sleeve. The cuffs length. Oh, and look at the pockets. Look at the pockets on this thing. Ooh. I got to go back. Look at this, y'all. Because I want to really see it. Let's see. Well, look at this. Look at this jacket, y'all. Hmm. Isn't this beautiful? Okay. And look at the pocket. Has made. This is vintage. This is a man's suit jacket. I'm wearing this jacket. Look at that. This is heavy duty. This thing heavy. It said 1940. But I can't find the name. It's like the name ain't even nowhere to be found. This name. Right there. So, but I did the Google Lens search and a similar one like this. Uh, it looks just like this, but it don't have, like, that part on it. But it has the rest of it on it. And now look at the back, y'all. Check out the back. Wow! Check out the back, y'all. Let me tell you, the surgery is tough. 
lot of stuff because I'm in uh, a tight space. Let me sit down and show you. Wow, isn't that nice, girl? Look at the back. Look at the back. Look at this. How it's made like that. And the design. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this is thick denim, y'all. Thick. Look at that. Look at this. It's the Adventures 1940s. This is heavy, 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 heavy. I'm still liking the buttons and that. This thing is heavy, y'all. So this side, look for me. And look at the inside. Look at the inside, man. So the inside got the pocket. Again, there's the name that I can't find online. And it says, or 42R resin. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? And it's got a pocket right there. But look at the inside. Just the inside. Isn't this cool? Look at this. And then it got a pocket over there. And the inside. Deep pocket. Look at this. Woo. Let's see how it look on. So I can fit it, but once again, I can't close it. But that, it don't matter. Look at this. I'm wearing this, y'all. Yes, I am. I'm not like everybody else. Got my own style like everybody else. I'm not a person that want to copy nobody. I don't have celebrity idols. I don't have no idols. I don't worship nobody. But God, the Lord God. And so, I look like myself, not trying to copy and look like nobody else. Mm -mm. If I see something somebody got, I might get it. But it ain't because I'm trying to copy off of them. It's because I like it. And so there's a pocket. Look at that guy in the pocket. In the back. Look at that. Woo, this is a nice jacket. Uh, mm. And it's heavy. This by itself is good for the fall. And it's going to be good for the winter, too. Like the beginning of the winter. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, some men style clothes look um look like it could be worn by women and men. But I can't get over this. And it's that nineteen forty. Look at that. Okay, moving along from that. That was the last, last clothing item there. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see it again. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, the things you can find at the thrift store, y'all. Okay. It's at 30 minutes already. Okay, we down to... I got one pair of booties, and then we'll get to the handbag. I'm putting the clothes back in the bag, yeah. This is a little order. I told you I'm a hoarder, but organized one. I ain't trying to throw stuff about, you know? And the stuff that I have about is neatly put for when it's time for video and photo taking. And then I got to put them back. You know what I mean? But anyway, okay, moving right along, y'all. Excuse me. One minute. I got to get myself situated again. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So I'm going to wait on this. Let's see. 
this right here. I'm going to show y'all the booties last now. But anyway, look at this bag. I always did want me a canteen shake bag. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? So, I don't know. Let's look and see if this genuine leather or not. Look, ain't nothing wrong with this canteen bag. Look at that. Mm -mm. So it opens like this. And there it is. Yeah, nice and clean. And this comes from Zara. This is my first Zara find. Just period. I never find clothing or nothing. That's Zara. Hope y'all can see that. It says Zara in there. And I can't pull it out. But it says Zara. Nice and clean canteen. I'm like, oh, this is nice. It's really pretty, y'all. And the bag you go. The next purse. Look at this quaint purse, y'all. Nice quaint purse. So we got the velvet. The black part is velvet. Like the other is kind of satinish. No wear or tear on the bottom or corner. Like I said, I ain't going into the prices, but anyway, it's half off of the prices. Now, look at this. And so, this is like a, uh, can it be body, cross body? It can be, but it ain't going to look right because it's a pencil. Nope. It's going to only be a shoulder bag, y'all. Yeah, so, it's not going to be a shoulder bag. Hmm. Nice pretty shoulder bag. So look like this. That's really pretty and roomy. And here's the inside. So it has like that that vinyl material in it. Look like an old vintage purse. I don't see no name. It's just the tag that they made in China. So it got a zip for pocket right there. Then it got a compartment. Then it's partition. And then it got a compartment there. And it's vinyl. And in the inside, but it's not vinyl on the outside. And this look like a satin strap. Really pretty. Isn't that pretty? And it's magnetic clip. Very pretty, and it came with a wallet. <laughs> well, I could tell y'all. It was half of $5.99. I guess I could tell y'all the prices. And so the what? This came with it. Okay. And remember the old, uh, where you put your photographs? You could use this as your card. Although it got card slots. And it. And then here's the compartment here, compartment here, compartment there where you put your photo ID, and here's where you put your money at. Your dollar be used. Really nice. And then on the outside, on the outside, it's a clip. This is a regular clip. And on the outside, I got the nice zipper and nice interior. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Might use it for a thumbnail. I keep taking these pictures, y'all, and the thumbnail never be on the video that I took a so-called picture for the thumbnail. Okay, this was half off of, I ain't going through the clothes, but this was half off of 549 there. Okay, half off of this. Is this was three ninety nine half off? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! They were definitely look. It got a zipper here up top. Is the zipper? 
called? What you call these bags? I forgot what you call these bags. Right there. And there's a space. What's that? It's all iridescent. And then in the, this, this right here in the front unzips. So I'm going to wipe these down with, you know, wipe them down with the uh, Lysol or something. You know, clean it up a bit. Real nice. Close this back. What you call these things again? Uh, body bags or something? I forgot what you call these. Waist bags or something. Your waist, but I'll put some order to it. But anyway, it's not broken or anything, so you can put it around your waist. And this side is the clips. See the clips like a seat belt. And so, my thought was to wear it like this, y'all, to wear it like this. That's how I'm gonna wear it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about wearing it like that. Really nice, guy. Right? Well, yeah, you can wear it however you want to wear it. And of course, you can put it around the Z way and adjust, adjust it. And it's, then we could adjust. Mm -hmm. So we can wear it like this. But anyway, and there it goes. Moving right along. Can't spend time. That's my problem. I spend time, too much time on stuff, y'all. Okay, the next thing. Ooh, I'm like, I couldn't believe this. This thing is huge, Vintage. This is Vintage too. This is, this is a Marciano bag. This uh, guest Marciano guest bag, vintage. Whoa, it's heavy duty. Look at this. This gun metal, gun metal thick hardware. Look at this. All this is leather, y'all. Oh, it's up for the gun metal. Oh, now this turns, but it ain't opening nothing. That's just for de uh, decoration. You got a snap clip open. But anyway, look at this bag. Woo, this bag is heavy, y'all. Look at this bag. And here's the bottom. No wears, no tears. Here's the bottom. I'm getting this drop out the way so you can see the bottom. I don't have feet. It got a little wear. I'm like, no, no wears, no tear. It got a little tiny wear on the corners, like right here. But y'all see any handle. So I'm selling this. So, and here's the name. Right there. Okay. And it's the name also on the hand tap. This gun metal, y'all. This hang tag is gun metal. You see, I think you could see that hang. Pretty gun metal color. Ooh, this thing is heavy. So this is the back. And this is the shoulder strap. And you could uh, take it off, remove it. And then this is just for your arm. But look at the detail, y'all. Look at all these. Look at all that. Ooh. Hmm. See, I'm pausing to remember what's the name of these. There's things I forgot that quick. But anyway, and so you open it like this. So you open it like this. Rhinestone. Is that rhinestone? No, it's not rhinestone. That way you open it like this. Stud. 
Yeah, it got all these studs on it. Look at them studs. All of them intact, too. All of them intact, none of them missing. So this side, look at the inside. Nice and clean, got that cheetah print. So you got a slip pocket here with leather around, leather trimmer. Then on this side, you have the plate and they had designer name again on the plate. So I don't know if you can see it. Yes, it's got Marciano leather. So it's real clean. And the shoes just it just got oh, it, could, it actually comes out. So y'all can see the whole thing. See? Nice and clean. On both sides. Mm -hmm. No holes, nothing. Nice. Put it back in here. This is some heavy duty. Ooh, leather, y'all. Man, ain't nothing in this and this heavy. Look at this. And look at the design on it. So you're going to hold it like this. If you're going to hold it. Like this. Or it's such a short strap. I'm like, why they make the strap so short to where it's awkward? I'm like, how you wearing this like this? But anyway, it was like this, and you could change out the strap. Why didn't it make the purse look weird? Cause it, I don't know. But anyway, I don't know. Maybe that's why it was in a in the store. Hmm. And look at the strap. Strap. Nice. No way on it. No tear. And like I say, you can remove these. Oh, it's nice and hard. And heavy duty chain. Ooh. Man, what the. Look at this bag. I'm shocked that this bag was there. People looked at it and here's the sign with the name tag. And you got a little, if you want to take the tag off and put it, your keys on there and so to where you can have it at the wrist, lid on your wrist. That's all. And then, uh, this is all that detail. Wow, what? And did I show y'all the price? Half off of $10.99 which made it like what five fifty effort this bag anyway yeah that bag getting on Poshmark y'all at Lady Vintage Shop and Purse Attic Shop it'll be listed in both closets the next one will be look at this y'all I spent half of two ninety nine on this look this like pony hair and it's a leather little clutch clutch wallet really nice and so that's the leather with the uh, pony hair on it this looks cute so i don't know if this had a name on it y'all And so, it just got one main pocket. And it got a tag that say what? It says Chic. Chic. So that's the brand name, Chic. And it says Leather. Oh, let's see how to get it. It says Leather and Cotton. Leather and Cotton. I don't know if y'all seen that right there. It says leather and cotton. And then it says chic. Was it upside down? Hmm. So there you have it. This will be in my box my closet to the description list it below. Real nice. Hmm. 
The next item will be this is no name, but it smell leather, y'all. It looks vintage, but it smell leather. The straps smell and look leather, but you it's vintage. Look how this buckle is. The strap. And this smells a little here. But look at the design, y'all. Look at it. It got all the little, like, mirror sequins. But look at this. The leather tassels, y'all. That's not split. You see, it's rounded off. All of this intact, y'all. Look at this. This handbag. This handbag, leather, leather and fabric, feels like cotton with these little mirrors in them. You see, these little mirrors in them, all the way around. Okay, so it's, it's vintage, it's old. Look at the old time zipper, it's already open, and it just got one little small pouch. All this leather in here. So got the one little small round pouch right there. See that small little round pouch right there? Real small, just a little round pouch right there. And then the same thing on this side, another round pouch. So it got two pouches, one right there, see it right there? And then one right there on the other side on both sides and then it's deep but look leather and then it got uh something here they could wipe off because i was cleaning this off you can just scrape that off i thought it was tear or something but that's just dirt you just wipe it off but this is leather y'all not polyvinyl it's leather Man, I don't know if y'all is showing well. That's leather inside there. But this is no name. I don't know what it is. It smells of leather, too. Look at all that. I'm like, what? And so, it zips. It's old fashioned zipper. <laughs> and then I made it to where it could be a. Uh, I was thinking about that. I keep this. This one. I don't know. I might put it up on par. But anyway. So it goes like this. I'm trying to put it back how it was. Anyway. So. It goes like this. On the shelf. I had to cross body, but I don't feel like going through all that. Check this out, y'all. Isn't that cool? Looks like who made this bag? Oh, it looks fancy, but it's a no name bag. So I was thinking about keeping it for a minute because I had bought this. From Shein earlier in the year, I bought this from Shein, so I was thinking about pairing it with this. Look at this from Shein. I think I'm gonna post the video up in the cards below of when I bought this from Shein, so I don't have the fur on the arms. But look at this, and I thought I might wear this because <laughs> this. Uh, Partly vinyl, and I'm like this leather, and I might wear with that for a little while. Back up here, and I said I might wear with that. Who the hell get in there? Okay, I need to move it, y'all. This is Chinese laundry. Okay. Chinese laundry. Okay. Look at this pretty clutch. Leather clutch. Leather.
Look at this. It's pretty. See the side? No tears, no wear. Alright. Okay, that's pretty. Chinese laundry. And you open it like this. Oh, look at that. Oh, the crop design. And look at this. And it says Chinese laundry on that too. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Put this back down here. Like, am I gonna use the thumbnail? I gotta move it, y'all. We almost at an hour. This right here, y'all. This this weekend of leather. This a vintage something. Uh, we'll see in a minute. But it got VR on the hang tag. But look how the design. All this leather. Mm -hmm. and look how this way the straps so it's not removable but I like the way that is but it's adjustable though really nice on the front and back look this way look at that pretty design so the preventer you can tell by the hang tag once again it got that same leather in it that I showed you in that other purse. Look at that. That's leather, y'all. So I got a zipper there. And over here, I got a zipper. I wonder if it's made by the same company. Because it ain't got no name other than BR. I'm going to clean that now. Nope. That's it. Yep. So I just got that. Y'all familiar with that hang tag? tag. Look like a B and an R from Boston. Same leather. As the other bag, baby. Moving right along, y'all. Time going. Look at this bag. This is a Mark Fisher bag. We have a nice heavy duty. Look at this. Parking balls, zipper book, compartment. Let me put this right. Nice and clean. Look at that too. No holes in the other one either. Leather. So it's made like this. Sent in like this. On both sides. No webs, no tear. Look at this. And there's the seat and corner. Now on here, you I see a small tear somewhere? Yeah, right there. It's not all the way through. It's just on the leather part. It's torn, but not the cloth. So it's not all the way through. And it's trying to do it. It didn't do it yet. But other than that, this will be up too. In my Poshmark closet. Isn't that pretty? Here's the back. Mark Fisher, and it has the Mark Fisher info right there too. Right there. It opens like this. Two zipper compartments. Right here is the zipper compartment, and then here's the inside interior. So you got the zipper and the Mark Fisher right there. And it says Mark Fisher on there. I don't know if you can see it. What is that? It says, oh, yeah, it got the zip over there. And then it got the zipper. Everything nice and neat. This will be for sale. Take that. So that's one. And then the other one here. Room. This kind of heavy to this 
it just got some weight on it too once again you can say and so there you have it and there's the detail no pockets on that side really pretty isn't it pretty Fisher. Oh, no frame on the flat handles. No frame on the flat handles. Really pretty. Okay, the next, I'm feeding it because, ooh, I'm almost at an hour. I was trying to not be an hour. Okay, this bag, look at this bag. It reminds me of a Voltaica bag. This polyurethane, y'all. No wear, no tears on it. Just a little dirty and dingy. Thick, heavy duty. Heavy. No wear, no tears. This gonna be on sale too. And here's the strap handles. No frame, nothing like that. And that's how you open it. Clip. There's the inside. That's this side. You got a I got a strap to go with it. I have put it on there already. Adjustable strap. <laughs> Removal strap. Worthington. The Worthington bag. Yeah. Really nice and clean. Worthington. Really nice. Take a look at that. Be on Lady Vince. Be in Lady Vince shop. Can purchase shop. Links description below. Now this man, y'all. Keeping this. This what the half off of this. Half off of mine. So this is just a pretty peach looking bag. But look at the design. And I'm gonna wear this in the winter again. I'm not, I don't let nobody dictate to me when and where I should wear my stuff. I don't follow fashion trends. But I like to look fashionable in my sight. Mm -hmm. This is excellent. This is, all of them was an excellent because this is the stuff off film that had small tears. Just at the base corner, the basis of things. Look at this perfect bag. Now, what I like about this bag is you don't have, this not going to be a crossbody or bag or shoulder bag uh, with no strap, no strap with this. And here's the interior. This is no name. So, I got a zipper there. And then it got some slips there. And look how clean this bag is. Nice and clean. Beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. I can barely get it across my shoulder. Barely. And there's no straps or nothing. Or no strap strings or nothing saying that it came with a strap. So it's just like that. It's just a tote, basically. It's a little small tote. Pretty. And it came with a pouch. It came with this pretty pouch. Isn't this pretty? This pretty pop wrist. Nice. Open it. And this thing like this is a uh, polyurethane too. Look at all the slips inside. For credit cards and nothing over there. Hmm, really nice. Put this thing over here in the corner. This supposed to have been a three-piece set, but it was only two. See? So it's supposed to be three down there. So it don't say the company or nothing, it just say made in time. And pretty with the slots, card, pretty card slots. They're nice and big pouch. Put your cosmetics in there or whatever else. Plop it in there and call it a day. Play some peace. Last but not least, y'all, is this. Hey, check it out, y'all. 
Look at the booties I done found. Wow, plaid booties with the bow and this wraparound bow that's uh, attached to the shoe. Velvet. And this cloth. Ooh. And it's green, white, and black. Look at this. And look at the tips. It's just got some, uh, you know how uh, the fuzz, that's all that is, fuzz. Other than that, this shoe intact. Look at that, my size 10, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, my size. Look, look at that. It doesn't need to be clean. That's just dirt. Look, they don't look like they've been worn, y'all. Look at these shoes. They don't look like they've been worn much. Even that. It's just dirty. These are predictions. Size 10. Vintage predictions. Let me come out so y'all can see. What y'all saying? It's, it says predictions there. But y'all see how clean this shoe is when a, a camera just and I'll spend half off of that. Wait, it's upside down. Half off of that. Look at the pretty, these pretty shoes. And look at the heel. Look at intact, not even worn, nothing. Let me take one. Look. Look at this shoe. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? And the bow. This velvet. Doesn't need to be wiped off. It got a lot of frizzes. Look at this shoe. This little booty. Isn't that shoe? <laughs> what? And I got the perfect. I forgot to bring it so I can show y'all. The perfect jacket. It looks Chanel-esque. See, expensive without the price. Looking expensive without the price. Who gonna know unless I tell you this is a prediction, a vintage prediction shoe from the brand prediction. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank y'all again for who tuned in and thank you to my new viewers and new subscribers. And if you haven't done so, please think it about subscribing. Press the notification bell, you see? So you'll be notified each time I upload a catchy tail videos so other people can come over here and see what I find at the thrift store when I purchase online. Sometimes I'll show my uh, artwork and my music to the Lord God uh, playing. I'll take my camera to the camera uh, around the Chicagoland area where I live. Um, right now, I took all of them down because I'm like nobody interested. But if somebody want to see them again, just let me know in the comments and I'll repost stuff and continue to post my just adventures. But anyway, if you haven't done so, give me one or two likes. Please like it and share the video so it could go across the YouTube community. And remember, if the, the Lord until the next time if the Lord our Creator is willing, love yourself. Remember to love thy neighbor as thyself. Be kind. Love is the way to go and y'all know it. But above all, let's love our Creator with our heart. Our whole heart, mind, body, and soul. With all our strength and keep His commandments. For they are holy, just, righteous, and true. Always benefiting me and you and y'all know it peace and god pay love y'all take care bye